more Korra time. So episode two of season two. So yeah, let's do it. This is spirits, book two spirits. So now she's gonna learn about the spirit world because she's been struggling with that. She said she was a spiritual failure. Aang was kind of able to do that um, pretty early on, actually. At least go to the Avatar state. Um, not necessarily control it, but at least connect spiritually in some way, right? Pretty early on. But Korra has been struggling with that, and she's older than Aang. So we're dedicating a whole season to the spirit world, which I think is going to be fun. I also learned that season one and season three were like, really really great in this show and i did really enjoy season one but i also heard that season two wasn't like the best uh but i'm i enjoyed the first episode so let's just continue on but please like this video to put boosted algorithm so i can continue doing episodes out for you guys and let's go oh and the full version is out on patreon with video because a lot of people are asking about that a lot of people assume that it's not with video yeah no i i do have the video but yeah let's go what can I say? I'm pumped up to learn that Unalak spirit fighting. I'm not here to teach you to fight spirits. I'm here to help you begin your spiritual training. We're going- Oh, but she wants to fight. Telling her not to fight? Ah, she gonna struggle with that oh. one. You're gonna train me at the South Pole? We will do more than just train. By neglecting the spirits, the people of the South have brought darkness upon themselves. Damn. Now it threatens to destroy our tribe. We must set things right. The Southern Water Tribe depends on you. Tenzin and her dad were so, like, distrustful of this guy, though. But he seems so, like, level-headed and honestly a great person. This is an ancient airbender head shaver with refurbished... No way. How? Oh. Okay. <laughs> How does it shave here? Sorry, I thought you were the servants. We're Tenzin's brother and sister. Avatar Aang had Whoa. other children? The yeah. world is filled with more airbenders? No. Nope. We're not airbenders. Oh. Unfortunate. <laughs> Yo, they get treated so badly. <laughs> but yeah, they do they do got that energy though. <laughs> like like they almost got that main character energy when <laughs> they're not. Oh. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's all good. They're like grown adults, bruh. <laughs> I thought you said Bolin was coming. He said he'd be here, but I can't worry about it. I have to make sure you have everything you need for a safe trip. Tonrock, what do you want? I heard you're taking Korra to the South Pole. I'm coming. Absolutely not. You're a distraction to Korra and a hindrance to what needs to be done. My daughter is not going without me. The sad truth is it's men like your father who have put the spirit world out of balance. He's ignored my warnings in the past and hasn't learned since. He's just worried about you. He's ignored my warnings in the past and hasn't learned since. What happened in the past? It doesn't matter. What the hell? What's going on with father? Unless you think you can stop me. Brother Trouble! Guys, hey, wait for me! But we got another brother duo joining. Check it out. I'm traveling in style. <laughs> Whoa! Does this sidecar have the capacity for two passengers? Sure does. But, uh, who's going to drive? Damn. There's a reason the Glacier Spirits Festival ends on the winter solstice. And that's when the spirit world and the physical world are close together. Only then can the Avatar open the portal. The winter solstice is tomorrow. Exactly. And we can't afford to wait another year. Damn, well, it's a good thing she's here. Dark spirits. Wow, so dark. Let's keep moving. We have to find a safe place to set up camp. Uncle, why do you think the dark spirits are following us? Can we not talk about dark spirits, please? Kind of have to. I will protect you, my feeble turtle duck. Thank you. Sadly, this isn't a ghost story. This is real. <gasps> the spirits are angry <laughs> because he's here. Haven't you ever wondered how your what? father ended up in the South Pole? Why is he here? Is he potentially endangering his daughter by being here? You should have told her a long time ago. Let's hear it. I was banished. Oh my gosh, another Zuko. We gotta have a banishment somewhere, right? Why? Because I almost destroyed the entire tribe. What? 
20 years ago, I was a general in the Northern Water Tribe. Brother, we're being attacked. Attacked by... <laughs> Vikings! The Vikings are attacking! I drove them out of the city and deep into the frozen tundra. <laughs> Many believed this forest was the home to spirits, and the barbarians retreated there because they thought we wouldn't attack on such hallowed grounds. They thought wrong. Whoa! Wow. <laughs> Damn, that gave me chills, we not gonna lie. Barbarians. But in the process, we destroyed the forest. R like that badly? Like it can't recover? I didn't realize the consequences of what I had done. Shit. By destroying the forest, I unknowingly let loose angry spirits. Oh. <gasps> wow. Brother is calming them. Why is her father so distrustful of the brother? Like he saved you. Is it? Unalak was able to guide the spirits back yeah. to the forest. Yeah. Great. But by then, the damage had been done. Uh, to what? Okay, the city. It can be rebuilt. Oh, he was still banished. For being the cause of so much devastation. What? My father banished me from the Northern Water Tribe in shame. But like he's the general. It's not like he expected this to happen, right? It was just like to protect his city. All right. And yeah, like destruction happens. I don't know. He said he unknowingly brought back the spirits and they destroyed like a little bit of the city. All right. And like, so what's the problem? Like, I don't get That's it. That's when I came to the South and started a new life. Okay. So why is he so distrustful about him? To, to, why, is he, why is he so mad at his brother? Because he never saw him again or something? I... Whoa. So you were supposed to be chief. Then he became oh. chief. No wonder oh. you guys don't like each other. Ow, what? But that's the father's fault. That's your father's fault, not the brother's fault. Like, I really don't get why he's so mad at his brother. Not gonna lie, still. Cora. You have every right to be mad at me, but I don't want you to make the same mistake I made. I should have never gone into that forest. Dad, it's my job to be the bridge between the spirits and the physical world, and I finally have a chance to live up to my potential. Yeah. You don't even know if what Unalak says is true. You want proof? What? This don't look fun <laughs> to enter. It's a good thing, like, Naga is built for this, you know? I feel like it should just be Naga and Korra. I really don't like this. Bolin, don't blame calm. you. There's no reason Panic! <laughs> Did they really bring a camel? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh. Brother, help! Oh, it's in the engine! Oh. No. <laughs> oh, oh, it's calming it, I think. Brother. Like, the brother is literally saving them every time. Let him just do his thing. Is everyone okay? The father is just messing things up. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm a raft. Uh, can someone please deflate me? Thank you. Wow, great. There goes our equipment. Now what are we supposed to do? There's only one thing to do. We have to turn back. You're crazy. The solstice is tonight. We're so close. You guys should turn back. Let Cora and the brother do their thing. Dangerous. We're leaving. No, Dad. You're leaving. Duh. 
Like, I don't know why he's here. I'm gonna keep it real. Maybe he need. Maybe that father needs to say his apologies. Maybe that's why he's here. Thank you, Marco. Let's open this portal and lead your father and the entire Southern Water Tribe in the right direction. So, what exactly were you and my dad talking about? Nothing. Oh. He was just worried about you, that's all. You know, sometimes I wonder whose side you're on. Damn, relax. That's your dad. You have to trust that we're here for you. Yeah, Cora. You must find your way to the heart of the forest where the dormant spirit portal lies. From here, you're on your own. There's no way she's going alone. Yeah, if she goes, we go too. You don't have a choice. We're alone. But I don't have any connection with the spirits. In fact, it seems like they hate me. You have to believe in yourself. Like I believe in you. I guess I'm just so used to people telling me how to do things that I forgot what it was like to have someone trust in me. Hmm. We've seen her imposter syndrome a little bit throughout the series. Her low self-confidence. Wait here. I'll be okay. Good luck. She puts up a front, but she definitely has like low confidence in herself at times. So what did she see? Like, what was... What happened there? <gasps> what avatar is this? Huh? I mean, it looks like water. <gasps> Why isn't it opening? You angered it. See, that's the thing. Come on, portal, open. Wow. So if she just keeps hitting it, eventually it'll open, right? What? There's got to be another way, right? Avatar state. What? There we go. Her touching in the avatar state. I could see that. Okay. Okay. Thank goodness we got the powers of all the avatars on our side. Spirits dancing in the sky. Whoa, yeah, the statues. Yeah. But who's this avatar? And why is she so interested in him slash her appreciate it she did it oh he's proud yeah like believe in your daughter man hey cora you're back hey cora's back is she back huh why are you initiating physical contact with another woman? Oh my gosh! Everything you said was true. Avatar Korra, you have taken the first step in bringing balance back to the South. And soon the whole world. Nice job! I don't really think she did that much. She just entered the portal, that's it? Like, it seemed like when Aang entered the spirit world, he did a little bit more. <laughs> like, I'd like... I. I don't know. I, I would like Korra to talk things through more, but that's not her character, I know. It just felt like... Uh, I don't know. I would appreciate it. Thanks. Like, like a talk no jutsu moment would be really dope. Things were really stressful and confusing. It's hard being the Avatar. It's harder being the Avatar's boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? What what what's going on? Why? What are all your northern troops doing here? Opening the I don't know. portal was only the first step in getting the Southern Water Tribe back on its righteous path. 
Brother, I trusted you. Are you telling me you're doing something sus? There's more difficult work to be done before our two tribes are truly united. And that is? Destroy them? Could take control, conquer? Dude! So the brother actually isn't good and the father was right all along and I was like, what the hell's wrong with the father? Like, why is he doing all that? Well, because if you look at the story, I don't think the father really did anything wrong. I'm gonna keep it real, alright? He made him, like, like, he wasn't purposely trying to, from what I understand, right? Did I misunderstand that? He wasn't purposely trying to get the spirit world or anger them to, he wasn't purposely trying to anger the spirit world. He was just being a general and he thought of a plan and he um, initiated it it didn't work out there were consequences to it but it wasn't that devastating of well like like i guess yeah like it's been years years um and they still have to deal with the spirit world and all but it wasn't like he wanted it to happen you know so yeah he got banished but the brother so and he's upset with the brother because he took his position but really like, it's not the brother's fault that he took his position. If in, anyway, in, like, he should be blaming his parents, if anything, right? But, like, he's so mad at the brother and distrustful towards the brother, even Tenzin. Because um, I know he's the chief, and I know, like, he's, like, you know, he's up there. Like, he's on that echelon, like, that upper echelon kind of rank. And he's... But he really was helping out, like, in the spirit world. He's super calming, and he genuinely has helped so much. And he wants Korra to go in the spirit world to help, right? Like, she needs to, and it will help. But the father's always... The father didn't want her to, and I wasn't sure why. Like, he was worried, but, like... It was something that was necessary, so it was just like... I don't understand it. But now it looks like the the brother, I don't know, like the brother's doing something. So maybe the father was right the whole time. Who the f I don't know. <laughs> it's like crazy. Yeah. It is different because we never saw Aang's parents, right? I mean, we saw like Gyatsu, which was a father figure to Aang, right? But it's not like, the f like, it's not like adults told the crew really what to do. Like, like even Sokka's freaking father, like, trusted him. Uh, when they got reunited like and he let Sokka do his thing like you know what I mean like it's just like it's a lot different than the original show which makes more sense you know which which is more I guess realistic in the show right um but yeah I guess that's it I gotta check the next episode out um and yeah civil wars ah <laughs> civil wars yep yep okay well that's it I guess thank you so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed if you want to see the full version it's out on patreon thank you Melon out